my most vocal critics expressed contradictory, contradict, contradictory and confusing views. He initially argued that Japan presented compelling evidence about the safety of their proposal, but then called for Fiji to assess the impact for itself. It's noteworthy that Mr. Said Kayum's government did not issue a formal protest, did not issue a formal protest note to Japan in 2021 when the wastewater discharge plan was first announced. Similarly, former Prime Minister Orangabain Marama, who was portrayed as an international environmentalist, made initial statements in 2021, seeking, and I quote, sincere dialogue, and a quote, and a quote, continuous information sharing, and a quote, with Japan. However, uh, there was no formal protest, and it is essential to clarify that the discharge had not yet occurred at the time. Some critics have attempted to draw a connection between the wastewater discharge and past nuclear weapon testing in the Pacific. This comparison is not grounded on scientific facts. Commercial type power reactors, such as the one in Fukushima, cannot explode like nuclear bombs, as the fuel is not enriched beyond about 5%, significantly lower than the level required for explosives. I urge those who do not share my position to go thoroughly and study the views of scientists and other experts. My decision to endorse the IAEA report, Mr. Speaker, sir, was made based on my prerogative as Prime Minister. The Pacific Island Forum has emphasized the importance of international consultation, adherence to international law, and independent and very verifiable scientific assessments regarding the Fukushima controversy. The Forum 